So today we will practice English conversations. And after conversations, we will also hear how any sentence can be used differently. Now these conversations are related to getting information. Conversation A. Speaker 1. What's the matter? Speaker 2. I need some information. Speaker 1. Go to that desk over there. Speaker 2. Thank you very much. Conversation B. Speaker 1. Can you help me please? Speaker 2. I'll try to. Speaker 1. What's the best way to get to this address? Speaker 2. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. Conversation C. Speaker 1. How can I get to that address? Speaker 2. You can go by taxi. Speaker 1. Isn't there any other way? Speaker 2. Yes, by bus, but it's complicated. Conversation D. Speaker 1. How do I get to the nearest subway station? Speaker 2. It's two blocks up that street. Speaker 1. Do you mean the street running that way? Speaker 2. Yes, that's the one. Conversation E. Speaker 1. Is this the right way to Grand Central Station? Speaker 2. No. You're going the wrong way. Speaker 1. Which way should I be going then? Speaker 2. It's in that direction, about six blocks. Now, here's an example how this sentence can be used differently. I need some information. Now, in this sentence, some can be changed with a little. I need a little information and information can also be changed to assistance. I need a little assistance or I need can be changed with I would appreciate. I would appreciate a little assistance or we can use with this work. I would appreciate a little assistance with this work or some more. Instead of a little, we can use some more. I would appreciate some more assistance with this work. Now here is another example. Here is the sentence that can be used differently. Go to that desk over there. Instead of over there, we can use across the room. Go to that desk across the room. Or the counter. Instead of desk, we can use the counter. Go to the counter across the room. Or instead of go to, we can use walk. Walk to the counter across the room. Instead of across, we can use opposite that door. Walk to the counter opposite that door. Instead of counter, we can use the office. Walk to the office opposite that door. Here is another example. What's the best way to get to this address? This can be changed with fastest. Instead of best way, we can use fastest. What's the fastest way to get to this address? Instead of fastest, we can use easiest. What's the easiest way to get to this address? Or quickest. What's the quickest way to get to this address? Or shortest. What's the shortest way to get to this address or least difficult what's the least difficult way to get to this address now here's another example what's the best way to get to this address this can be changed with the center of town what's the best way to get to the center of town or the local shopping center What's the best way to get to the local shopping center or central hotel? What's the best way to get to the central hotel or Eastern College? What's the best way to get to the Eastern College? 
Here's another example. What's the best way to get to this address? In this, the best way can be changed with fastest. What's the fastest way to get to this address? Or we can also change to the center of town. Instead of address, we can give a specification where we are going. What's the best way to get to the center of town? Instead of to get to, we can say drive. What's the fastest way to drive to the center of town? Or we can also change to easiest. What's the easiest way to drive to the center of town? We can change to the central hotel. What's the easiest way to drive to the central hotel? Now here's another example. The statement is, you can go by taxi. Instead of you can go, we can change it to ought to. You ought to go by taxi. Instead of taxi, we can use by bus. You ought to go by bus. And we can also add there. You can ought to go there by bus. Or instead of ought to, we can use should. You should go there by bus. And instead of bus, we can use on the train. You should go there on the train. Now here's another example. How do I get to the subway station? Instead of subway station, we can ask about the bus depot. How do I get to the bus depot? Instead of to get to, we can use reach. How can I reach the bus depot? Instead of bus depot, we can use highway 16. How do I reach highway 16? Instead of reach, we can use find. How do I find highway 16? Or instead of highway 16, we can use the baggage room. How do I find the baggage room? Now here's another example. It's two blocks up that street. Instead of two blocks, we can use a few. It's a few blocks up that street. Or down. It's a few blocks down that street. Or a short distance. It's a short distance down that street. Or along the highway. It's a short distance along the highway. Or several miles. It's several miles along the highway. Now here are a few conversations related to finding one's way. Conversation A, speaker one, pardon me, where's the central theater? Speaker two, it's in the next block, straight ahead. Speaker one, thank you very much. Speaker two, that's all right. Conversation B, speaker one, Where's the National Department Store? Speaker 2. It's downtown on Brown Street. Speaker 1. Do you know the exact address? Speaker 2. Yes, it's 521 Brown Street. Conversation C. Speaker 1. Can you tell me where the library is located? Speaker 2. Yes. Do you see that church? down the street speaker one yes it's quite easy to see with such a tall spire speaker two just turn left there and walk three blocks conversation d speaker one are the instructions too complicated for you speaker two well would you mind repeating them speaker one i'd be glad to speaker two I'd like to write them down this time. Conversation E, speaker one. Can you tell me where the station is? Speaker two, turn right and go four blocks. Speaker one, would you mind repeating that? Speaker two, I'd be glad to. Now here are a few conversations about asking about buses. Conversation A, Speaker 1. Where do I get the downtown bus? Speaker 2. Walk straight ahead one block. Speaker 1. Thanks very much. 
Speaker 2, don't mention it. Conversation B, Speaker 1, where does the bus stop? Speaker 2, at the next corner. Speaker 1, does it go downtown? Speaker 2, only the number 5 bus goes downtown. Conversation C, Speaker 1, are there many bus stops along the street? Speaker 2, yes, there are. There are quite a few. Speaker 1, are they located at the corners? Speaker 2, most of them are, but a few aren't. Conversation D, how do I get to the station? Speaker 2, take the bus at the next corner. Speaker 1, do you know which bus I take? Speaker 2, watch for number 32. Conversation E, Speaker 1, how much is the fare on this bus? Speaker 2, it's 15 cents. Speaker 1, do I give the money to you? Speaker 2, no, just drop it in this machine. Now, here are a few conversations related to traveling by bus. Conversation A, Speaker 1, does this bus go into the city? Speaker 2, yes, where do you want to go? Speaker 1, I want to go to Harbor Heights. Speaker 2, this is the right bus then. Conversation B, Speaker 1, does the bus go as far as Washington Square? Speaker 2, no, you'll have to transfer. Speaker 1, where can I do it? Speaker 2, you can get the Washington Square bus at the next corner. Conversation C. Speaker 1, is this where I get off the bus? Speaker 2, no, not here, at the next stop. Speaker 1, can I catch a taxi right there? Speaker 2, yes, there's a taxi stand right by the bus stop. Conversation D. Speaker 1, excuse me, but uh, how do I get to this address? Speaker 2, get off the bus at Water Street and Main. Speaker 1, thanks very much for your help. Speaker 2, don't mention it. Conversation E. Speaker 1, is West Street the next stop? Speaker 2, I'm sorry, but I didn't understand you. Speaker 1, does the bus stop at West Street next? Speaker 2, yes, right at the next corner. Now, here are a few conversations about going by taxi. Conversation A, Speaker 1, where are you going now? Speaker 2, to the hotel. Speaker 1, are you going by bus or by taxi? Speaker 2, probably by taxi if I can get one. Conversation B. Speaker 1, I need a taxi. Speaker 2, the taxis are by the entrance. Speaker 1, thank you very much. Speaker 2, you're welcome. Conversation C. Speaker 1, is this taxi taken? Speaker 2, no. Where are you going? Speaker 1, I'm going to the University Student Center. Speaker 2, okay. I know right where it is. Conversation D. Speaker 1, how much is the fare? Speaker 2, $2.50. Speaker 1, here, keep the change. Speaker 2, thank you very much. Conversation E. Speaker 1, it's raining very hard right now. Speaker 2, why don't we get a taxi? Speaker 1, that's a good idea. Speaker 2, now I only hope we can find one. 
Now, here are a few conversations about taking a trip by car. Conversation A, speaker 1, are you taking a trip today? Speaker 2, yes, we are going to Boston. Speaker 1, it's a good day for the trip. Speaker 2, I'm glad the sun is shining. Conversation B, Speaker 1, how far is it from here to the coast? Speaker 2, it's about 250 miles. Speaker 1, how long does it take to get there by car? Speaker 2, it takes about 5 hours. Conversation C, Speaker 1, how far is it to the next gas station? Speaker 2, there's one that's two miles from here. Speaker 1, is there a place to eat there? Speaker 2, yes, there's a restaurant next to the station. Conversation D, Speaker 1, what's the best way to the Ocean City? Speaker 2, the super highway, but it's also the longest way. Speaker 1, how much longer is it that way? Speaker 2, about 10 or 12 miles. Conversation E, Speaker 1, are they going by way of North Plains? Speaker 2, no, they aren't taking that route. Speaker 1, how are they traveling then? Speaker 2, they are driving directly to the Ocean City. Now, here are a few conversations related to travel plans. Conversation A, Speaker 1, I have to take a trip by air next week. Speaker 2, do you like to fly? Speaker 1, I don't know because I have never flown before. Speaker 2, you'll probably like it very much. Conversation B, Speaker 1, I have to go home next week. Speaker 2, how will you go there? By car? Speaker 1, I'll probably go by air. Speaker 2, you'll get there very fast then. Conversation C, Speaker 1, are you going on a trip next Saturday? Speaker 2, yes, we are going to Boston. Speaker 1, are you flying or going by train? Speaker 2, we are traveling by car. Conversation D, Speaker 1, how will you travel to Los Angeles? Speaker 2, we will go by plane. Speaker 1, how long will it take? Speaker 2, it'll take about 5 or 6 hours to get there. Conversation E, Speaker 1, what time will you leave your house? Speaker 2, I'll leave around 7.30. Speaker 1, how are you going to go? By train or by bus? Speaker 2, neither. I'm going to drive. Now here are a few examples how some conversations can be used differently. Speaker 1, excuse me, where is the restroom? Speaker 2, it's down the hall. Speaker 1, thank you for your help. Speaker 2, that's all right. Now, here, instead of restroom, you can change it to post office. So here, Speaker 1 says, excuse me, where is the post office? Speaker 2, it's around the corner. Speaker 1, thank you for your help. Speaker 2, that's all right. Now, instead of post office, we can ask about bus terminal. Speaker 1, excuse me, where is the bus terminal? Speaker 2, it's in the next block. Speaker 1, thank you for your help. Speaker 2, that's all right. Now, instead of bus terminal, we can ask about the ticket office. Excuse me, where is the ticket office? Speaker 2, it's by the main entrance. 
Speaker 1, thank you for your help. Speaker 2, that's all right. Now here's another example. Speaker 1, where's the reception desk? Speaker 2, it's on this floor. Speaker 1, how can I get there from here? Speaker 2, turn left right over there. Now instead of reception desk, we can ask about the main office. Speaker 1, where's the main office? Speaker 2, it's on this floor. Speaker 1, how can I get there from here? Speaker 2, walk straight ahead. Now instead of main office, we can ask about cafeteria. Speaker 1, where is the cafeteria? Speaker 2, it's on this floor. Speaker 1, how can I get there from here? Speaker 2, go in the second door on the right. Instead of cafeteria, we can ask about cashier's window. Speaker 1, where is the cashier's window? Speaker 2, it's on this floor. Speaker 1, how can I get there from here? Speaker 2, just walk to the end of this hall. Now here is another example. Speaker 1, how do I get to the train station? Speaker 2, turn left at the second stoplight. Speaker 1, how far is it to the stoplight? Speaker 2, it's about a quarter of a mile. Now instead of the second stoplight, you can say in the center of town. Speaker 1, how do you get to the train station? Speaker 2, turn left in the center of town. Speaker 1, how far is it to the center of town? Speaker 2, it's about a quarter of a mile. Now instead of the center of town, we can say about the next intersection. Speaker 1, how do I get to the train station? Speaker 2, turn left at the next intersection. Speaker 1, how far is it to the next intersection? Speaker 2, it's about a quarter of a mile. Now instead of the next intersection, we can say about the main street. Speaker 1, how do I get to the train station? Speaker 2, turn left at Main Street. Speaker 1, how far is it to the Main Street? Speaker 2, it's about a quarter of a mile. Now we can again change it to the bus depot. Speaker 1, how do I get to the train station? Speaker 2, turn left by the bus depot. Speaker 1, how far is it to the bus depot? Speaker 2, it's about a quarter of a mile. Now here are a few conversations about asking the time. Conversation A, Speaker 1, what time do you have? Speaker 2, it's 10 o'clock sharp. Speaker 1, thanks a lot. Speaker 2, don't mention it. Conversation B, Speaker 1, What's the time? Speaker 2, it's almost 8. Speaker 1, do you have the exact time? Speaker 2, yes, it's 2 minutes to 8. Conversation C, Speaker 1, excuse me, what time is it? Speaker 2, it's a quarter of 2. Speaker 1, I guess my watch is slow then. Speaker 2, well, I know mine isn't fast. Conversation D, Speaker 1, what time is it right now? Speaker 2, it's 5.25. Speaker 1, I've got 5.35. Speaker 2, you're 10 minutes fast then. Conversation E, Speaker 1, do you have the correct time? Speaker 2, yes, it's 2 minutes to 3. 
Speaker one, are you sure your watch is right? Speaker two, it may be a few minutes slow. Now here are a few examples. Here is the first one. It's almost 8.30. In this sentence, we can change almost to about. It's about 8.30. Now instead of about, we can also say just about. It's just about 8.30 or around it's around 8:30 or close to it's close to 8:30 or nearly it's nearly 8:30 now here are a few examples how some sentences can also be asked as questions it's 5 o'clock is it 5 o'clock it's 5:15 is it 5.15 It's a quarter after 5 Is it a quarter after 5? It's 20 after 5 Is it 20 after 5? It's 5.25 Is it 5.25? It's 5.30 Is it 5.30? It's 20 to 6 Is it 20 to 6? It's 5.45. Is it 5.45? It's a quarter to six. Is it a quarter to six? It's 10 to six. Is it 10 to six? Now here are a few examples. These are quick conversations. It's five o'clock, but I've got 5.10. Speaker two, you're 10 minutes fast then. Speaker 1, it's 5 o'clock, but I've got 10 to 5. Speaker 2, you're 10 minutes slow then. Speaker 1, it's 5.15, but I've got 5.12. Speaker 2, you're 3 minutes slow then. Speaker 1, it's 5.25, but I've got 5.30. Speaker 2, you're five minutes fast then. Speaker one, it's five to six, but I've got 5.45. Speaker two, you're 10 minutes late then. Now here are a few examples where the questions can be asked differently. Is your watch right? Are you sure your watch is right? Is your watch wrong? Are you sure your watch is wrong? Is your watch slow? Are you sure your watch is slow? Is your watch fast? Are you sure your watch is fast? Is your watch correct? Are you sure your watch is correct? Now here are a few conversations about asking the time. Conversation A, speaker one. What time is it now? Speaker 2, I don't have my watch on right now. Speaker 1, is there a clock around here? Speaker 2, there's one in the next room. Conversation B, Speaker 1, do you have the right time? Speaker 2, I was just going to ask you the same question. Speaker 1, my watch has stopped. Speaker 2, I forgot to wear mine. Conversation C, speaker one, do you have any idea of the time? Speaker two, I don't know exactly, but it's after nine. Speaker one, it was nine o'clock when I got here. Speaker two, well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Conversation D, speaker one, at what time is the meeting? Speaker 2, 8 o'clock. Speaker 1, be there at 8 o'clock sharp then. Speaker 2, I'll try to get there before 8. Conversation E, Speaker 1, how often does this station give the news? Speaker 2, every hour on the hour. Speaker 1, when do they announce the weather? Speaker 2, 10 minutes to and 10 minutes after the hour. 
Now here are a few examples how we can change the sentences. I don't have my watch on right now. Instead of watch, we can say coat. I don't have my coat on right now. Or hat. I don't have my hat on right now. Or shoes. I don't have my shoes on right now. Or sweater. I don't have my sweater on right now. Or wristwatch. I don't have my wristwatch on right now. Now here's another example. Is there a clock around here? Instead of around here, we can change it to in this room. Is there a clock in this room? Or we can say in the other room. Is there a clock in the other room? Or in this building? Is there a clock in this building? Or on the table? Is there a clock on the table? Or on the wall? Is there a clock on the wall? Or near this room? Is there a clock near this room? Now here is another example. Is there a clock around here? We can also ask about a big clock. Is there a big clock around here? Or an electric clock? Is there an electric clock around here? Or a wall clock? Is there a wall clock around here? Or any clocks? Are there any clocks around here? Or any wall clocks? Are there any wall clocks around here? Now here's another example. Is there a clock around here? In this we can also ask about in the other room. Is there a clock in the other room? Or we can ask about an electric clock. Is there an electric clock in the other room? Or in this building? Is there an electric clock in this building? Or clocks? Are there any electric clocks in this building? Or any? Are there any electric clocks in this building? Around here? Are there any electric clocks around here? Now here's another example. Do you have the time? Instead of time, we can also ask about the right time. Do you have the right time? Or have any idea of? Do you have any idea of the right time? Or we can ask, know the right time? Do you know the right time? Or correct? Do you know the correct time? Or right now? Do you know the correct time right now? Or exact? Do you know the exact time right now? Now here is another example. I was just going to ask you the same question. In this we can ask the time. I was just going to ask you the time. Or we can change tell. I was just going to tell you the time. Instead of going we can change it to preparing. I was just preparing to tell you the time. And instead of time, we can tell the exact time, like it's 12 o'clock. I was just preparing to tell you it's 12 o'clock, or a quarter to one. I was just preparing to tell you it's a quarter to one. Now here's another example. It was nine o'clock when I got here. We can also add about. It was about 9 o'clock when I got here. Or we can say a different time, like 3.20. It was about 3.20 when I got here. And instead of got, we can use arrived. It was about 3.20 when I arrived here. Or instead of here, we can change it to at the office. It was about 3.20 when I arrived at the office. And instead of about, we can say sharp. It was 3.20 sharp when I arrived at the office. Now here's another example. At what time is the meeting? Instead of meeting, we can ask about the lecture. At what time is the lecture or the conference? 
At what time is the conference or the party? At what time is the party or concert? At what time is the concert or football game? At what time is the football game or the program? At what time is the program? Now here's another example. At what time is the meeting? In this, we can also ask at what time of the day. At what time of the day is the meeting? Or on what day? On what day is the meeting? Or on what day of the week? On what day of the week is the meeting? Or in what month? In what month is the meeting? Or in what month of the year? In what month of the year is the meeting? Now, here's another example. At what time is the meeting? In this, we can also ask about the lecture. At what time is the lecture? At what time of the day? At what time of the day is the lecture? The conference. At what time of the day is the conference? Or on what day? On what day is the conference? Or we can again change the to the party. On what day is the party? Now here's another example. Here are a few answers and what would be their questions. So the meeting is at 8. The question would be at what time is the meeting? The lecture is on Tuesday. The question would be on what day is the lecture? The conference is in June. The question would be, in what month is the conference? The party is at 7.30. At what time is the party? The football game is on Friday. The question would be, on what day is the football game? And now here are a few questions and they are short answers. At what time is the meeting? It's at 8. On what day is the lecture? It's on Tuesday. In what month is the conference? It's in June. At what time is the party? It's at 7.30. On what day is the football game? It's on Friday. Now here is another example. Be there at 8 o'clock sharp then. Instead of 8 o'clock sharp, we can say at 8.30. Be there at 8.30 sharp then. Or exactly at noon. Be there exactly at noon then. Or before 3 o'clock. Be there before 3 o'clock then. Or around 10.15. Be there around 10.15 then, or about 4.30 or 5. Be there about 4.30 or 5 then. Now here are a few examples how some statements can be changed to questions. The station gives the news. How often does the station give the news? The station announces the weather. How often does the station announce the weather? This station gives concerts. When does this station give concerts? This station announces traffic conditions. When does this station announce traffic conditions? This station gives place. When does this station gives place? Now, here are a few conversations about going by the clock. Conversation A. Speaker 1. When is your first class? Speaker 2. At 10 after 9. Speaker 1. When do you get back here then? Speaker 2. About 10 to 12. Conversation B. Speaker 1. Alice will be back in 10 or 15 minutes. 
Speaker 2. How long has she been out of the office? Speaker 1. She's been out since 10 o'clock. Speaker 2. Then she's been out for an hour or more. Conversation C. Speaker 1. I got to the cafeteria around noon. Speaker 2. I was there, but I didn't see you. Speaker 1. I think I left a few minutes after 12. Speaker 2. I must have just missed you then. Conversation D. Speaker 1. Our friends will meet us here. Speaker 2. Will they come here right after lunch? Speaker 1. No, they won't be here until 3 o'clock. Speaker 2. Then I'll come a little before 3. Conversation E. Speaker 1. Let's call Mary. Speaker 2. Let's not call her right now. Speaker 1. Maybe this is a bad time to call. Speaker 2. Let's wait until 7 or 7.30. Now here are a few conversations related to arriving early or late. Conversation A. Speaker 1. I'm afraid we're going to be late. Speaker 2. How much time is there left? Speaker 1. We have got about 30 or 40 minutes. Speaker 2, that should be plenty of time. Conversation B, Speaker 1, whom are you waiting for? Speaker 2, we are waiting for our friend. Speaker 1, what are you looking so angry for? Speaker 2, because she's 20 minutes late already. Conversation C, Speaker 1, Aren't we going to be late for the meeting? Speaker 2. No, I think we'll be on time. Speaker 1. Well, I want to be there in time to get a good seat. Speaker 2. The meeting doesn't start for another 20 minutes. Conversation D. Speaker 1. Isn't Harry here yet? Speaker 2. Here he comes now. Speaker 1, 8.45, late as usual. Speaker 2, well, we can still get to the school on time. Conversation E, Speaker 1, are we late or not? Speaker 2, no, in fact we are early according to my watch. Speaker 1, hadn't we better go inside? Speaker 2, all right, but we are really about a half an hour early. Now here are a few examples of conversations, how they can be used differently. Speaker 1, could you tell me the time please? Speaker 2, certainly. It's 3.10. Speaker 1, my watch says 5 after 3. Speaker 2, then the watch is five minutes slow. Now this conversation can be used with different time and with different sentences. Speaker one, could you tell me the time please? Speaker two, certainly, it's 4.15. Speaker one, my watch says 4.20. Speaker two, then the watch is five minutes fast. Speaker one, could you tell me the time please? Speaker 2, certainly, it's 12.45. Speaker 1, my watch says 18 to 1. Speaker 2, then your watch is 3 minutes slow. Speaker 1, could you tell me the time please? Speaker 2, certainly, it's 9.05. Speaker 1, my watch says 9.05. Speaker 2, then he watches right on time. Speaker 1, could you tell me the time please? Speaker 2, certainly, it's 1.30. Speaker 1, my watch says 1 o'clock. 
speak it to, then it watches half an hour off. Speaker one, could you tell me the time, please? Speaker two, suddenly, it's 7.55. Speaker one, my watch says five after seven. Speaker two, then the watch is 10 minutes off. Speaker one, could you tell me the time, please? Speaker two, suddenly, it's two o'clock. Speaker one, my watch says one o'clock. Speaker two, that your watch is an hour behind. Speaker one, could you tell me the time, please? Speaker two, certainly. It's 8.45. Speaker one, my watch says 12.15. Speaker two, then the watch is not operating. Now here's another example of a conversation that can be used differently. Speaker one, where's your brother? Speaker 2, I think he is at the store now. Speaker 1, will he come back here very soon? Speaker 2, yes, I think so. Now here we can use at work. Speaker 1, where is your brother? Speaker 2, I think he is at work now. Speaker 1, will he come back here? Before five o'clock? Speaker two, yes, I think so. Speaker one, where is your brother? Speaker two, I think he's at his office now. Speaker one, will he come back here at the usual time? Speaker two, yes, I think so. Speaker one, where is your brother? Speaker two, I think he's at school now. Speaker one, will he come back here? Within an hour, speak to, yes, I think so. Speaker one, where's the brother? Speaker two, I think he's at the library now. Speaker one, will he come back here in the afternoon? Speaker two, yes, I think so. Speaker one, where's your brother? I think he's at church now. Speaker 1, will he be back here at 6.15? Speaker 2, yes, I think so. Speaker 1, where's the brother? Speaker 2, I think he's at the factory now. Speaker 1, will he come back here in the time for dinner? Speaker 2, yes, I think so. Speaker 1, Where's your brother? Speaker 2, I think he's at home now. Speaker 1, will he come back here in an hour or so? Speaker 2, yes, I think so.